Uh, well, and kind of speaking to where you are now in your career, you're going to step into a new role in January. You're part owner of here at Hendrick Motorsports. What has that role been like for you so far, and how excited are you for January and, and forward? Yeah, well, Rick Hendrick has a great way of, of uh, making things happen and reward or um, uh, motivating people and getting them to start their job sooner than they were expecting. <laughs> um, no, I'm loving it. I Listen, I've only known racing since I was five, six years old. And my life changed so much in racing when I met Rick and when I came to Hendrick Motorsports. Um, I got to come to the highest level with the best organization and help build that organization even up to, to you know what it is today and be a part of that and, and as a driver and and you know now as an, uh, an equity owner and and next year as the vice chairman and it, you know I love these people and that's what Rick has taught me is about you know the relationship that not just that he has with the people but that they have with one another and how they work together um, to to just find solutions and solve problems and um, make great race cars but also be a great race team and this year has been one of the most rewarding for me off the track I feel like because I've been able to, to be more integrated and get to know you know the ins and outs of the business but also see them on the floor you know, getting these cars prepped and ready to go to the racetrack and and you know just putting their heart and soul into it and having the passion for racing uh, the way I did as a driver and so to see them then go and have a great year I think it's the best year Hendricks ever ever had. Uh, I've been a part of some great years, but this driver lineup, crew chief lineup, the pit crews, the race cars, um, you know, all the way around, full circle has been, I think, you know, the, the greatest year, that, especially now with Kyle Larson winning the championship, uh, the, the best year I've ever seen Hendrick Motorsports have. Yeah, and going back to this weekend at Phoenix and getting the championship, what was that weekend like for you? Well, I didn't realize just how you know, uh, emotionally and mentally invested <laughs> I really was in what was going on um, you know, with, with two cars going for the championship, Chase Elliott, Kyle Larson. Uh, it's been a great year. We want to celebrate it no matter what. And you put your kind of mind into this place of, okay, you know, there's a chance that this could not happen. It's not guaranteed. Got to go out and execute and work um, qualifying when you know we had three of the top uh, four spots or the top three spots in qualifying and two of those were our championship contenders i was like okay that's a good sign this is good but what's going to happen on sunday and, and throughout the race i thought you know they did an excellent job of, of controlling most of the race but it was very uh clear also uh early on that that the gibbs team which we knew going in would be very very tough and that's a good track for them and and so it was this back and forth and and through that especially when that caution happened that put Truex in the lead and, and took, the way, uh, took away the lead for, for Chase Elliott. I was, I was devastated, you know, and, and I said, okay, it's not over, it's not over. We're gonna, we're gonna win this race right here on pit road, you know, by uh, the great teams and the great pit crews that we had. We just gotta get another caution. And um, that caution came, so. I'm just so proud, so proud to, uh, you know, to see what the teams have done this year, um, how they've worked together, mm -hmm. and, and as well as, you know, somebody like Cliff Daniels and, and Kyle Larson, just seeing how they grew together this year to, to come out on top was, uh, for me, a very, very special year also. Did you ever imagine that Larson would have 10 wins plus the championship when he started at Hendrick earlier in the year? And 11 if you count the All-Star well, Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, he's talented, he's super talented. Everybody talks about it, everybody knows it, see what he does in all forms of, of racing. But, you know, when you get to the cup level, it, it takes a lot more than a talented race car driver behind the wheel. That's a huge part of it, but um, it takes the total team. Mm -hmm. and, and you gotta do it, it's a grind to do it over, you know, 36 weeks. And, and so I, I think that, that, you know, I knew that they had something special when they won early on the season. And then just being around both of them, I, I'm so impressed with the work effort that, that Kyle Larson puts in. You know, usually the guys that I've been around, I'll throw myself in this category. I'm not as talented as he is. I'm not going to throw myself in that category. I'm saying that, that, you know, there were times where I probably didn't work as hard as I could have to have more success. And so when you see a guy come in like that and you know how Cliff Daniels works, he's very detailed. 
um, you know, he, he, he just covers a lot of ground and puts a lot of information in the driver's hands and the whole team's hands. And, and, you know, it's hard to sometimes manage all that. And Kyle Larson was completely invested in all that, believed in the process, uh, believed in his team and put all the effort into it and did it humble, um, you know, that, that it took to, to be a champion. And, and that, that's, that's, very, that's equally as impressive to me as his talent behind the wheel. There's a video of you and Mr. Hendrick once he takes the checkered flag against the championship. What did it mean to be there and have that moment with him? Well, so we decided to sit on, on separate pit boxes. Um, well, we had a lot of sponsors and partners there. And so at first we were sitting, uh, standing there watching on, on TV. And, and then he went down to the 48 box and I went to the 24 box. It just happened to be, to be you know, happened the way it did. And, but we've made a conscious effort. We're not going to the nine or the five that that's you know it's just just you know we want to let them focus let them do their thing we don't want anybody to f have any reason to believe that we're biased towards it any so let's just stay away and and so when we do did that he and i were talking on the radio back and forth he was you know when he was on the box and i was on the box and you know just trying to talk through how the race is unfolding we were talking about how the gibbs cars were very good in the long runs we needed more short runs we needed to you know, make some adjustments. We needed to have great pit stops. And then when that caution happened, you know, we were, we were both like, oh my goodness, I can't believe that just happened. So we were kind of talking back and forth, um, not steadily. Most of the time we're quiet and just focused. Um, but you know, on, on that box, I really, like there were these moments that kicked in and almost reminded me when I was driving. Uh, and, and, and I realized how much this meant to me and how much this meant to our organization. And, and it, you know, I just started getting a little bit emotional myself of, oh my gosh, this is, this is gonna happen. This is gonna happen. And yet I didn't wanna let that creep in because I wanted to see him cross the checkered flag <laughs> right. and not, not get a caution. But when that checkered flag f uh, fell and we won the championship, you know, Jeff Andrews is there, a, a good friend of mine who's a big race fan and, and supporter that's been around for a long time was there. Um, the race team, uh, you know, with the 24, I was like, Rudy, I, I'm Rudy Fugo, the crew chief. I'm sorry I got so excited. I know your day wasn't as good as, as, you know, what happened with the championship. And then I jumped off that pit box and ran for Rick Hendrick because, you know, he, um, he put so much into this, uh, this effort, you know, bringing Cliff and, and, and Kyle together and, and cares, you know, so much about the people here and, and win a champion. You know, I know that Hendricks won 14 championships, um, but we also know how hard it is to win them. And, and we know how much effort goes into it and how much passion there is at this organization. And, and so when you get to experience a moment like that, you want to you know, you want to experience it with the people that, that, that made it happen and, and that you know how much they care about it equally as much as you do. And so uh, I couldn't wait to get to him and Linda and, and give him a big hug. And um, I mean, obviously, if you saw the video, you know that I was extremely excited about it. Yeah. And then you mentioned 14 cup titles. But at one point, Mr. H wanted to just win one race when he started <laughs> all that. So to see where everything is now and know that you're a, a huge part of the future of Hendrick Motorsports, what do you kind of hope the legacy will be when you kind of fully take the reins and, and in the future? Well, that's what I'm enjoying right now is when you're a driver, you're, you're really focused on your team, your car. You know, how do you how do you go win races and championships when you're here as long as I have been at Hendrick Motorsports and you, 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 you know, that that starts to spread out and you understand the different departments and areas and people that make it all happen. But now in this role, I get to go back through the history, you know, and, and, and really dive deep into all those things of how it really started and, and that first race win, how critical that was to Hendrick Motorsports still being here. Um, and so, you know, I've been collecting different photos and, and, you know, just getting as many stories from some of the folks that have been here for, for you know, all those years. Because we, we have people that, I walked through here, uh, through the campus the other day, and I bet I ran into six people that have been here for more than 25 years. Mm -hmm. And that, that's the kind of place this is. You know, when you come here, it's, it's special. Um, you don't want to leave. You, you work you know, hard to, to, because you know your teammate is, and, and that's what it takes. But you're also rewarded with you know, a, great, 
experience. And so to hear those stories and know the history and then look at my history within it, you know, since I came here and, and I was talking to Mrs. Hendrick the other day and, you know, that first championship in 1995 um, meant a lot to this organization, certainly meant a lot to me, but, you know, I, I didn't quite know how much that meant to Rick and to Linda and, and to Hendrick Motorsports until you start spending more quality time um, not being a driver, being in more, uh, you know, uh, in a different environment. I, I spend more time traveling with them places, um, fishing with, with Rick, uh, in meetings and, and, and just on the phone. And, and, and I think that's what I've enjoyed the most over the last couple of years since I retired from driving. And what I'm looking forward to even more when I officially go into the new role um, is, is just spending more time with, with Rick and, and Linda and, and wanting to see their vision just continue on and, and do everything I can to help that process.